Question 54 of leak code, spiral matrix. So given an M by N matrix, return all elements of the matrix in spiral order. So we have matrix one through nine, and we need to return one, two, three, six, nine, eight, seven, four, and five. It's quite a simple question to understand, but it's pretty tricky in implementing it. So we have this matrix, right? And the first step is to loop through the first row. So row zero and add to a result array. So let's create that. We know we're gonna be needing a result array and that's gonna store in all the values as we traverse through the entire matrix. We're also going to have to set some boundaries, right? Because we don't wanna be going out of bounds here. So we don't wanna be going too far past here. We don't wanna be going too far down here, etc. And we need to also change the direction. So, so in terms of this, we need to set the left, which is equal to zero, right? So we're gonna start here at left equals zero. Top is also equal to zero. We're gonna have right, and this is going to be equal to this value here. So it's gonna be matrix dot length minus one. So zero, one, two. And then bottom is going to be this value down here. So bottom is also going to be two. So we've got a few variables here, which we can use to loop through this array here, go down here, here, and back up. We just need to work out how to implement that. And we also need some kind of way of making sure that we've finished this loop. So we don't enter an infinite loop. So we need an exit clause. And this exit clause is going to be when the result contains all the values within the matrix. So we need to get the size of the matrix. So the size of the matrix is going to be equal to the length of the row times the length of the column. So we've got three times three, which is nine. So if result values, so if result.length is equal to nine, we can pop out of this and just return res. So let's work through the solution. So we've got this while loop on the go. So while the result, actually let's call this, let's call this nums. So while the nums dot length is less than the size, carry this out. So we're going to be pushing these values into the nums array. So we can add one, two, and three in there. Now, once we've reached this end, we need to exclude this portion, right? So we need to exclude this from the search criteria because we only want to be searching what's down here now. So we need to increment something. So what we're gonna increment here is top. So top goes to one, so top is now here. So we've excluded this now because we've already added it into the nums array. Now we need to go from top to bottom. So from this value here down to bottom and add those to the nums array. So six and nine. Once we've added those, we've checked that it's inbound. We need to remove this section from the search criteria. And the way we do that is we decrement right. So right is now equal to one. So this is our search criteria now. We don't have this anymore and we only have this. So now we need to loop backwards. So we loop from right to left and we add in these values. So eight and seven. So they've been added. We exclude this area now and we do that by saying bottom minus one. So bottom is equal to one. So that's gone. And then we move upwards. So we go from bottom to top and we know that top is equal to one, bottom is equal to one. So we only add this value in here. So four is added in there. We remove that from the search criteria by saying left is equal to one. So left equals one. And then we just repeat the process and we add five in. So moving from left to right, five is added in there. Nums.length is now equal to size. So we can hop out of this while loop and we can just return nums. Time complexity of this algorithm is O M times N because we visit each element in this matrix exactly once. And then space complexity is O of one. Now you may be thinking, well, we've created this nums array, uh, but this is included in the result. So this is what we're going to be returning. So we exclude this from space complexity. So let's start by declaring those variables. So left is equal to zero. Top is equal to zero. Right is equal to the matrix at length. And then we work out the size. So size is equal to the rows times the column. So matrix length times matrix zero dot length. And then we have the nums array, which we're going to be returning at the end. So remember we said whilst the length of nums is less than the size, so the size of the matrix, carry out this logic. So four let i. 
So we start off at the left value. So we start off at zero. I is less than or equal to right. So we want to move up and include the last value. So it's going to go one, two, three. We need to make another check whether nums at length is less than size because any point within any of these four loops, nums.length could equal size. So we need to make that additional check. And then we push into the nums array matrix and we're going to push in the top value and i so when we loop through the top the only thing we're changing is the column and that is this value here we aren't changing this value so the top is set at zero so we just keep that static and then we change the column value once we've done that we need to exclude this section from the search criteria because we've already added it into the nums array so we increment top then we carry out another for loop so i is equal to top because we're moving from top down i is less than or equal to bottom and we need to make that check again so nums.length is less than size and we're going to be incrementing downwards so we're going to be going down the rows so we're going to be here going down here and here and what we need to push in nums we know for a fact that the rows are going to be changing because we're going down from row to row to row and the column is going to stay the same so what we need to change is the row so we change that value and we know that right is going to be equal to two so we add right in there once we've added that into the nums array we need to exclude this section from the search criteria so we decrement right moving on to the next for loop so i is equal to right because we're starting at the right side down here we're going to be moving left so we need to go backwards so while i is greater than or equal to left and make sure we do that check again i minus minus and what we need to push into nums so we're changing the columns in this section so we can put i in there and the position we are within the rows is bottom and then in order to exclude this section down here we just decrement bottom so bottom goes from two to one and we've removed that from the search criteria okay so the last loop i is equal to bottom and we're going to be moving up so we're going to be moving up this way i is greater than or equal to top so we know top is at one already we can do the check and then we need to decrement i because we're moving backwards and then what we can push into nums is matrix we know that we're changing the rows so we can add i in there and we need to add a static value in here and that will be left because left is set at zero here and then we need to exclude that from the search criteria so we just increment left and then we repeat the process and once nums.length is no longer less than size it'll hop out of this while loop and we can return nums let's give this a go okay so i've got a semicolon let's give this another go okay so that's been accepted let's submit it okay and there you have it 